I am going to teach you how to use the column method for addition. Use this method when the numbers are too big to add in your head. First write down the numbers so that all of the digits that have the same place value are in line. For instance, all of the units are in the same column, all of the tens are in the same column and all of the hundreds are in the same column as in the example above. When your addition looks like this, you're ready to start adding the numbers together. We always start adding from the units column on the right hand side as indicated by the arrow. In this example, 9 add 5 equals 14. When we get the answer 14, we write it as in the example above. The 4 is a unit, so therefore goes in the unit column. The 10 goes over to the 10 column, and we write it as a smaller one to remind us that we need to add it when we add the 10s. We are now going to add the numbers in the 10s column. That is the 4 and the 8, and don't forget the 1 that we carried over from the units column. The answer to 4 add 8 add 1 is 13. So we write the 3 in the tens column and carry the 1 over to the hundreds column to remind us to add that when we add the hundreds together. Finally we're going to add the hundreds column, that is the 3, the 4 and the 1 that we carried from the tens column. 3 add 4 add 1 equals 8 and so we write this in the answer, giving us a total answer of 834. Follow this method and it should lead to success. If you find any of this difficult, watch the video again and keep practicing and that will make you a superstar at addition.